continue to elevate in your life. I was able to buy nine gifts, so gifts for nine people for under $200. My grown cousin can't swim. Avoid going broke. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well. Before we get started, go ahead and do me a quick favor, please. Like this video and subscribe to my channel below, please. Um, before we get started, I do like to start off with something positive. I wanna speak something positive over you and your life. I declare that today you are better than you were yesterday, and tomorrow you will be better than you were today. I pray that you'll continue to elevate in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. So can you guys guess the number one thing that most people go through during the holidays? And it's probably not like the super obvious, which is gaining weight and eating too much, but it's probably the second thing that you thought of, and you're probably right. Um, people tend to go into debt. They go broke. They spend way too much money during the holidays. So what I wanna do is I want to share the number one thing that you should do that I do to save money during the holidays and to avoid going broke. But I want you to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you my top gift ideas and gift themes. So like I mentioned, people tend to spend way too much during the holidays. They buy things in surplus. Um, they buy a lot of random gifts for people. They go to several different stores. They stress themselves out. They spend way too much money. So what I do that has worked for the past few seasons is I tend to do a lot of themed gift shopping, right? So what I'll do is I'll, I'll think of one theme, a fun theme, a, a huge theme that I can buy a lot of different gifts under. And I'll kind of make that like my go-to, that's my central point when I'm thinking about gifts to buy people, right? So there's, there's no more asking people what they want and trying to figure out where to go buy it. Um, if you create one theme, you only buy within that one theme. You don't ask them what they want, right? Because that gives them control. You wanna be in control of the gift shopping and the amount of money that you're spending. That's where a lot of our stress comes from during the holidays is, you know, we, we're trying to figure out the right gift to buy because we've asked everybody what they want. When we're not in control, we feel stressed. So we definitely want to stay in control. So don't ask what they want, just create a theme and go with it. So like this season for me, I've chosen to do a travel theme. Um, I like to travel at least every quarter or four times a year with my family. I've been trying to get like my extended family or my you know in-laws to travel with us, you know, and create those memories. But for whatever reason, they don't they don't come. Um, they have a, a ton of excuses of why they decide not to go, or or whatever. So. I decided to have my theme as a travel theme this year, A, because I love to travel, but B, to encourage them to want to travel um, and just have them, you know, just go for it. So you wanna choose gifts within your theme according to the personality. So that's where not asking them what they want comes into play. You're going to, uh, you, you know who you're buying gifts for, so you know their personality. So you wanna buy gifts under your theme according to their personality. So is one person uh, more funny or creative than others? Then you want to search for unique gifts or creative gifts for that person. So for me, I do have some funny or more creative people in my group. So I'm going to search for um, unique travel gifts under my theme. So like my grown cousin can't swim. So I thought it would be funny. He's super funny, super cool personality, super chill. Um, I bought him a pair of swim shorts. And so when you think of travel, you think of swimming. So it's under my, it's under my theme and it's super funny cause he can't swim. So it's like, what would he do with some swim shorts? But th these swim shorts would encourage him to at least get in the pool. So we have a lot of fun with that. So you have a theme that you're shopping for. You have, you know, the personality that you're shopping for. So next you want to buy your gift. I encourage everyone to just really buy your gifts online. It's That's where everything is. Um, you can avoid a lot of the, the stress and a lot of the crowds by shopping online. If you do shop online though, you do wanna make sure you are looking for coupons. So a lot of times sites will display the coupons or specials or sales that they're having, you know, and what codes to use when you check out. 
if you can't find any, one of the sites that I use to find coupons is retailmenot.com. 90% of the time you're gonna find a coupon for the store that you're shopping for. So definitely think about that when you're buying your gifts. I personally just use Amazon. It's a you know, one-stop shop. I can find anything and most of everything that I want and I can find a lot of fun and creative things. So, but really quick guys, if you're finding value in this video, please take a moment to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to my channel. So in the comments below, let me know the most money you've spent at one time during the holiday season on gifts. So the other thing you wanna do, so you have your theme, you have the personality, you know where you're gonna get the gifts from, you wanna create a budget, obviously, right? Without a budget, you're going to fail 95% of the time. Create a budget on how much you wanna spend and make sure you stay within that budget. So for me, this season, my budget was $200. Nothing more, nothing less. So by me understanding the who and what I'm doing, I was able to buy nine gifts so gifts for nine people for under $200. $200 is all I've spent this season. And yes, I've already spent it because I get my holiday shopping done early. I'm one of those. <laughs> um, so yeah, th there's a lot of different themes that you could do. You can be super creative, um, but I think the broader you go with your themes, the better. So for example, you could have a travel theme like me, um, pets. People love their pets. You can buy for the person that has the pets or the pet that belongs to the person. Um, home, you can buy things for the home, entertainment, technology. You have like uh, just because gifts. So, um, you know, just, just fun, random gifts for people. Those are always super cool. Um, and then you have health and wellness. So these are some broad ideas that you could buy a lot of different variety of, of gifts for people that it'll, it'll, you can find something for everybody with those themes. So see the description below for the best gift ideas in each of those themes that I mentioned. I hope you found this video helpful, guys. Please take a moment, like, comment, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Don't go one more day being unhappy or being unsuccessful. Watch these videos here and finally make that change.